what is a secured credit card? How is it different from a regular credit card? And what would you even need a secured credit card for? In this video, right now. Before we dive in the secured credit card topic, let's first make a step back for a minute and recall what is a secured debt in general. If you haven't watched my video on secured loans, definitely check it out since it will help you understand the terms that I use in this video as well as to see the complete picture of the secured versus unsecured debt concepts. So what makes a secured credit card secured? I mean, it sounds pretty secure, so that's the one you want to get, right? Well, the truth is that the word secure means that you secure this credit limit with your own money. When you borrow money from the bank, for example, you need to prove that you are able to pay all that money back. And as I said in my secured loans video, secured debt is always covered by an asset that you own, also known as a collateral. When you have a good credit history and a high credit score, you can get a nice credit limit and not worry about presenting any of your assets to the lender. But what if you have a low credit score or no credit score? at all? What if you have no credit history for whatever reason? Everybody knows that to get a high credit score you need to have a good credit history. And to get a good credit history you need to have a nice track record of paying off your loans. But you can't get a loan with a low or no credit score so you need to have a good credit score before you apply for a loan. Wait what? This is one of those cases when you consider getting a secured credit card. One of the easiest and most straightforward ways to establish, build, and improve your credit score. This is the best type of credit card for people in this situation. In the world of secured credit cards, your collateral is the refundable security deposit and your credit limit depends on the amount of that deposit. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want a secured credit card with a $500 credit limit. To get it, you apply for a secured credit card at whatever bank or credit union you pick and deposit $500 to your account. That's it. Now you have a credit card with $500 credit limit. In case it sounds complicated to you, it is actually very simple. It is similar to a gift card in a way. The main difference is that the gift card is like cash. You spend it and you forget it. But the secured credit card has to be paid off by the end of the each month since you need to prove that you are able to cover your own expenses. Here are five main reasons to get a secured credit card. A secured credit card has a credit limit set by you and it prevents you from spending more than you can afford to repay. Secured credit cards have pretty much 100% approval since the lender is risking very little by providing you with a card that is backed by your own money. Secured credit cards build credit score. Just like regular credit cards, they report your payment information to major credit bureaus which helps your credit history and credit score. You cannot do this with debit cards or gift cards. They are way cheaper and easier to understand than regular credit cards for people with bad credit. Secured credit cards have benefits similar to regular credit cards. Your secured card may have zero damage and fraud liability, extended warranty coverage and even rental car insurance. This one here alone is great reason to get any credit card instead of the debit one. One of the questions you may have at this point is how much money do you need to have to get a secured credit card? And the answer is it doesn't really matter since the minimum deposit requirements range from $50 to a few thousand dollars. Make a deposit as large as you can afford and as much as you feel comfortable with. The main idea is to pay it off in full every month, so plan accordingly. Another important thing to remember is that your security deposit is not used to pay off your secured card balance. So if your deposit was $500 and say this month you used it for $200, this means that you have outstanding balance of $200 to pay off by the end of this billing cycle. Otherwise the interest will kick in and you you will owe even more next month. Your security deposit is used only to establish the size of your credit line. You get your security deposit back when you close this account or when the bank is happy with your timely payments and wants to upgrade you to a regular credit card. Also here are three tips to get you the most out of your secured credit card. Always pay on time to get a flawless credit history. Pay in full every month to avoid interest. And don't use the entire credit limit. For best results the general rule 
rule of thumb is to use no more than 30% of your credit limit. This means that if you open a secured credit card with a $1,000 limit, try to use it for no more than $300. I hope you use your credit wisely. And how do you feel about secured credit cards? Have you ever had one? Do you think there are better ways to build or improve your credit score? Tell me in the comments below and remember to check my other videos on this channel. And if you are ready to receive a free gift from the universe, then share this video on Facebook, Twitter and who knows what else. Just click that like button and subscribe so you don't miss anything.